today we're taking a quick trip to the UK and shopping at Boots for moisturizers that can help with dry skin. If you don't live in the UK or any location that Boots ships to, don't worry because most of these moisturizers can be found elsewhere. In general, when it comes to this part of your skincare routine, think of moisturizers like a great supplement to what your body already naturally has. Your skin already has lipids like fats and waxes that provide moisture as well as other molecules that help it hold on to water that help hydrate your skin. But it's kind of like wearing a coat during winter. Sure, you can get away with not wearing one even when it's really cold, but you'll be far warmer if you do. So those layers of clothes beneath your coat are like your skin. They're providing a good level of protection from the elements. But then by adding a moisturizer, you can lock in all the good stuff your skin already has. You can help make it easier for it to hold on to water throughout the day and help it more efficiently carry out its protection function. Okay, so if I've not completely lost you with that tangent, then you'll notice that I've already filtered for the best-selling moisturizers for dry skin. We won't get through every single one of them, but we'll definitely touch on a good fraction, and if there are any others that you want to hear more about, please just let me know, leave a comment below, and I'll more than happily get to it for you. In the meantime, take a look at Domination by Sarah V. Just bear witness here with me to the fact that the top three, technically top four best-selling moisturizers um, for dry skin are entirely by CeraVe. Granted, number three and four are the same product but different sizes, but regardless, this is just, it's striking to say the least. I don't know what to say about that because I do like to see a lot of variation in products, but it is what it is. So let's go ahead and get started with their AM Facial Moisturizing Lotion with an SPF of 25. And an SPF of 25 is actually quite low, but it's above the minimum SPF 15 that's going to confer the sun protection you truly need. So we'll allow it. We'll accept this. Let's see what the rest of their moisturizing lotion has in store for us. All right, well, this follows what I think of as the CeraVe moisturizer template. In fact, it's kind of the CeraVe product template. There's so many ingredients that overlap and their formulation strategy tends to be pretty consistent across the board. What that means is that if you've tried a CeraVe product before and you just didn't like it or your skin didn't tolerate it well, then chances are pretty high that you probably won't enjoy this one either. In this case, they're adding UV filters for sun protection to their basic recipe and then in addition they're using niacinamide and so if you also don't tolerate niacinamide in general or if you have very sensitive skin then this might not necessarily be ideal for you also if you have very acne prone skin this moisturizer is worth skipping and because of that spf value if you burn quickly also think about skipping this moisturizer if none of that applies to you, then this product is just fine. Let's go ahead and add it to our cart, or well, I should say our basket. Okay, so sticking with the CeraVe theme, next up we have their moisturizing cream. And this is actually a better product for acne prone dry skin than the last one that we looked at. In this case, this product is without any sun protection, so you'll have to find that separately. This is a great product, highly recommend it. It's coming with us, let me add it to our basket. And now their moisturizing lotion in a very convenient pump format. Really similar formula, some slight differences, but we're still happy with it, also adding it to our basket. All right, now we have Simple giving us a little break from CeraVe, and this product is just fine. A common theme with these moisturizers is that they have these occlusive fatty ingredients, and some also use really rich oils that aren't always ideal when you're in the middle of an acne battle. And certain acne medications and products can leave your skin so dry. So then you're left with this balancing act of picking the products that moisturize deeply, but without clogging your pores too much or sensitizing your skin. It's really not easy, but this product is fine. We're adding it to our basket. Okay, E45. 
E45 feels like it should be the name of a music group. Anytime I see it on a product label, it feels like a missed opportunity more than anything. But nevertheless, this product, it's going to be tough for acne prone skin. Also, some slight irritation risk, even though it seems that they really try to minimize that. But regardless, we'll pass. We've already seen so much better and we've just gotten started. With this product, Simple is the runner-up in frequency at Boots. It's the second most popular or second best-selling according to their filter as of today. Now though, we have a richer formula. We have a rich moisturizer versus the light moisturizer that we had seen before. However, this doesn't look like their ingredient listing. This actually looks like one for a sunscreen, so let's move on. Okay, Cetraben Moisturizing Cream soothes and protects dry, itchy skin. Okay, let's see what they have in store for us. You know, this is fine. It's ideal for extremely dry skin that's also very sensitive. It's going to form this thick coat on your skin, a coat which many people might find uncomfortable, but the right skin type will really appreciate. So we'll take it with us. It's coming along. And now we have a dual moisturizer sunscreen. In other words, a moisturizer that already has sun protection, but in this case, it's the very low SPF of 15. It's really not ideal, but it's something, so we'll take it. Let's see what the rest of the ingredient list looks like. Unfortunately, this is an absolute no. It'll smell amazing. However, there are far too many potential allergens. In fact, these are some of the most commonly reported ones out there. And so we are passing on this product. And now we have Eucerin's Replenishing Face Cream that uses 5% urea. So with urea, it can help moisturize the skin effectively at lower concentrations, while at higher concentrations above 10%, it helps break down and loosen plaque or excess keratin. A simple rule of thumb is if you want help with moisture alone, look for those lower percent creams. And then if you want help with psoriasis plaques or scales, for example, look for the higher percent creams. Of course, always follow the instructions of your medical provider, but that's just a good thing to keep in mind, as in start paying attention to the percentages depending on what you're hoping it'll help with. Unfortunately, this product uses an aromatic alcohol. It's this one right here, benzyl alcohol, and it's a potential sensitizer, a weak one, but still a potential sensitizer. And we can't ignore that risk because urea is a highly effective penetration enhancer. It helps other ingredients get deeper in the skin. So when it's present, the rest of the formula has to look perfect. It has to be free of any potential sensitizers, even the weakest ones. For that reason, we'll pass. But if you have pretty resistant skin, if you're not struggling with sensitive skin, then it's completely fine to give this product a try. And with this Hydro Boost Gel Cream from Neutrogena, it's okay, but not great. Potential irritants, so we'll skip. And another not so great option, but this time it's because of eucalyptus extract, which isn't helping our skin and instead could irritate it. This isn't an easy one to pass on, but we're doing it anyways. And I think Simple now ties CeraVe. I think it's now three to three, right? They're at the lead with the number of products that they have. In this case, they have this water boost skin quench sleeping cream. So let's see what a sleeping cream that's meant to quench the skin has to offer. This one is okay, but not great. So we'll pass. With this skin food cream, let's see. Okay, this is an absolute no. There are far too many allergens and it doesn't matter that they're from essential oils. This little disclaimer at the bottom, it doesn't make a world of a difference because this still is going to pose a major issue for anyone with sensitive skin. So we're passing on this one. 
Now we have another CeraVe AM moisturizing lotion, this time with double the SPF of that we saw earlier, in this case SPF 50, and that's excellent protection, it's what we like to see. However, I don't think this is their full ingredient list since I'm not seeing the UV filters that they use or what gives that SPF of 50, so unfortunately we have to skip reviewing this one, but it is nice that we're seeing that increase in the sun protection. This one has way too many allergens with all of these essential oils. And this emollient cream, it starts out okay, but then takes a major turn. This ingredient here, BKC, is not what we want to see in our skincare products. It can be really irritating and also contributes to antimicrobial resistance, which is a medical issue. So we're passing on this product, that's for sure. This moisturizer then takes us back. We're having a flashback moment to the minimum SPF, that SPF of 15. However, the rest of this ingredient listing isn't so great with all of these allergens, so we're passing on this product. And this one is another no. If we're doing a comparison, it's not as bad as the last one, but it still has some potential for irritation that can't be ignored, so we're skipping it. This LRP Cycloplast is such a cult favorite. Unfortunately though, this looks to be the wrong ingredient listing. This actually seems to be for a sunscreen versus this particular product, but that's okay. It's such a popular product, I practically have the ingredient listing memorized by heart. And it's definitely suitable for dry skin, but it's especially good for those patches that you want to supplement another moisturizer with. As in, it's good if you first apply your moisturizer to your entire face and then to the areas that need a little extra help, let's say around your mouth, your cheeks, just layer this product on top in those targeted spots. The interesting thing about this product is it's not actually meant to be used on broken skin, so avoid doing so. Sometimes you'll hear it promoted as being suitable or helpful with barrier repair, but truly it should be avoided with broken skin, so keep that in mind if you consider using it. In the meantime, we're definitely taking it with us, we're adding it to our basket. This day fluid is borderline, but there's just a little too much irritation risk. It's just right above that border, but it will give a nice, rich, and deep moisture. It's just not necessarily worth the potential risk, so we'll pass on this one. Compared to the last one, the irritation risk here is far higher, so no. And then with this one, just allergens galore, so also no. And this one also carries an irritation risk that's not worth it, so we're passing. And finally, we have some respite. We have this little interlude with irritation risk. But to be fair, this Aveeno Calm and Restore Oat Gel Moisturizer, it does technically have some irritation risk, but for most people, it won't be a problem, so we'll add it to our basket. All right, I think that's enough shopping, and in my opinion, we've touched upon a good proportion of the products. Like I said earlier, I'm more than happy to keep shopping, so if you want me to head right back to Boots to keep going through the rest of the moisturizers for dry skin, let me know in the comments, or if you have a certain product in mind, also mention it. For today, here's our shopping cart. These are the moisturizers that have what it takes. In other words, they're going to effectively deliver a nice boost of moisture and lock in what your skin already has. They're also safe in the sense that they're free of commonly reported allergens. In general, really, they include ingredients that tend to be well tolerated by most people. With all of that said, I hope to see you very soon. In the meantime, don't be a stranger. Hit the like button, hit subscribe, and leave a comment with what's on your mind.